So if you are searching for the most customizable wheel that in the end you don't have to adjust to the wheel but the wheel adjusts to yourself, the Emotion V12 is the wheel for you and we'll talk about what is the best settings for this one. If you want to know everything about it, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Medpack and if you love EUCs, PVs and everything that have an E of electricity, this is the place for you. And today we are going to talk once again about the Emotion V12 and my love for this wheel. And I have to say to you guys that since I received the V12, I don't use my MSP anymore and I've done a video about it. Today we are going to cover the settings of this wheel and why I think that is the most advanced wheel and the only wheel that you have on the market that you don't have to adjust to it, the wheel will adjust to yourself and to your riding style. Let's start by the pedals. I have already covered that in other videos but today we are basically going to cover the settings and how I have all set it up on the motherboard. When you put the pedals on the highest position the wheel gets much much stable. It becomes more like um, King Song 16X if you want. That is the curving experience that you have with this wheel. When you put on the lowest position it feels like a Gotway MSP that is there, but is much, much easier to curve. Obviously, I use my curving pads. I call it curving pads because I use them on the top, not just to brake, but also to help to, to curve. And that makes this wheel so, so nimble when you are using the Grazilla pads that I also have review on the channel. Feel free to check that video if you are searching for some power pads. This wheel, obviously, if you change the position of the pedals that I was not really expecting, it completely changed the game. It completely changed the experience that you have with your wheel. So more nimble, put it on the lower position. So if you are going to use like in a competition, you are going to compete against someone doing very, very tight curves. The V12 becomes like that when you change that. And if you want something that is more stable in high speeds, bring them up and you'll find that. If you want a bit of both of this world, put on the middle position, but I really like the highest position because I'm more far from the ground and I'm not so concerned that I'm going to scratch my pedals and hit the floor. But when we go to the settings, I said to you guys already, it's the most customizable wheel. And I'll bring now the Gotway MSP. So when you go to the Gotway MSP, this wheel basically, you can choose three modes, hard, soft or medium. You can't really choose how the wheel reacts when you are riding with it. And that is a disadvantage in my point of view. You had those issues with the Shermans, definitely that was always an issue because you need to readjust to that wheel. So you purchase a new wheel and you need to learn it, how it reacts and how it rides. And definitely that is something that emotion have solved with the V12 and I would love to see that in more wheels. When we go inside the settings, you have one part that is the pedal sensibility and explaining to you the, the best that I can, the pedal sensibility is the hard, medium and soft mode that you have on the MSP. So you can say that you want that the pedal takes a little bit longer or not to readjust. In my case, I use it at 51 because I want that it takes a little bit longer to readjust when I'm accelerating and braking because in that way the wheel gets much more comfortable to my feet that I have already talked many times to you guys that this is an issue for me. So on that setting I use 51%. If you want that the wheel is more responsive you want obviously that the pedal sensibility is in the maximum. If you want them less responsive you need to bring them down but if you want to at least experience my experience riding with the EV12, use the pedal sensibility at 51. You have two drive modes, so you have off-road and commuting. Between these two, what is the difference? Commuting is basically more balancing on the pedals once again. So it takes a little bit longer even to, to react. And if you go to an off-road, it's the, the pedals are more rigid, so they don't move almost nothing. Even if you change the pedal sensibility, they are going to make the wheel a little bit more stiff. I don't like that, so I like something that is a little bit more like a boat sensation in a certain way, but not like it happens with the Shermans, the previous ones, the first ones that you have a lot of pedal dipping. So I want something that is a little bit more comfortable, but this wheel will allow you to control the amount of pedal dipping that you want and will be on one of the next sets. Settings. So on your wheel you have a mode that is called split ride mode and in here you'll have the possibility to control your speeding and your braking. So basically if you think that my arm is the pedal and I start to accelerate what the pedal is doing is just pushing up so you have zero and pushing it up. In the prototypes you could also bring them down and I used to do that on the braking and I will talk in a minute 
that is not possible anymore but in a certain way it's easier for you guys because this wheel it's amazing but if you customize in the wrong way it can be the best experience in the world if it makes sense so you can have a good experience or you can have an ex excellent experience depending on the customization that you have there but when you come to the split ride mode on the speeding i have 32 percent at the moment so and i'm always trying to readjust but at the moment that i'm doing this video for you guys is at 32 percent and i don't believe that i'm going to change that the pedals when i start to accelerate and when more you accelerate you start feeling that the pedals they start to lift it up to give you more leverage to brake. If you want that that reaction is, is quicker, you just have to change the pedal sensibility and obviously they will come quicker to that position. But I want that is more gradual. But if you think about it, when you want to brake, the pedals on the back, they will start to react. So I need that they react so it's quicker for me to brake, if it makes sense until now. When I go to the braking, I have 18% more. Why I don't put it in the same level and I want that the pedals, they don't go so, so high. Because when I'm going to brake, I want that even if it goes up a little bit on the back, I don't want that it goes massively because in that way I can basically kick the wheel from the side using my curving pad on the back. That's the reason why I use there plus 18% because obviously I want to make that the pedal sensibility that at this point is at 51 takes less time to come to the position that I want. So that's why I use plus 18% in there. So this configuration will bring also something that is essential for us, that is safety. And when more I can customize this wheel to understand what I want, safer I will be on the road riding with this at 42 miles per hour like it happens already. For that reason, I never felt so connected to a wheel like I'm with the Emotion V12 and for example to the MSP and I ride quite a lot this wheel already. I look to my six wheels, I'm like, which one I'm going to pick? And I'm picking always the V12 because of that experience. And I hope to see this happening in more wheels. If you have any questions about the V12, power pads, MSP, whatever, leave in the comments below. My name is Marco, this is Matt Peck. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you in the next one.